Welcome back to the shooting channel and today we're going to talk about something a friend YouTuber has done and I thought maybe it's something that you viewers would like to see of mine as well and this is my personal gun collection. guns I've also had a couple of other guns that's into here as well I started on a little pistol when I was probably five years old and then I went and bought my father gave me a Diana air gun that I plinked in the barns at tin cans pigeons that sort of thing and then I started shooting I get the game shooting around the shooting grounds when I was about eight or nine my father said to me I was not allowed to go game shooting until I could hit 10 out of 10 consistently on our high tower at Oxford. So I made myself do that. Um, I then shot what was then like the schools challenge, the young shots things. I managed to win the British schools and young shops championships, which was the, then called the nationals with my best friend, Dan Martin from Orson shooting grounds. I then shot a little bit of sporting after that because I was at school and I shot at school and built my own shooting, or we built our own shooting grounds at school. Um, I then took up the world of double trap and I shot probably, I went through a lot of guns, like the Maruku, Parazzi, all sorts of different things. Um, and then shot that pretty much until I was about 24, 25. Now I just kind of shoot a bit of sporting, bit of game and working and filming for you lot. So that's really a short bit of my um, guns that I've owned. The first gun was this little gap gun that was actually my granddad's and he gave it to my sister and I when we were younger and we still have it now. And it's very old, silver, probably not worth a great deal of money but to us it's worth a lot of money. It's the pride of doing it. You probably can't hit a lot with it you push it in like that and you fire it like that um, and that was my first gun at about five or six years old and he gave it to my sister and I. I then when I was about seven or eight my father brought me this little Cyberside Belgium 28 gauge. Now this is probably my favourite gun of the lot because it's got a tiny stock it's low in the comb, it's not worth a lot of money, but I hit my first pheasant with this gun. So it just goes to show you can hit pheasants with a cyber side and a 28 bore cyber side. It's non ejector, safety catch comes on all the time, it's double trigger, 28 inch barrels, it's just a real fun little gun. So that was my first shotgun after my Dan Diana air rifle. I then went to a Maruku grade one over and under game gun, which I said I would always shoot my game with. I don't particularly anymore. Doesn't really come out of the cabinet. It's actually what all I've done changed with this gun over the years is I put a browning stock on it to make the comb a little bit higher because obviously on the Maruku MK60s, they're a lot flatter in the comb. So I put a Maruku, a browning stock onto the Muku gun. I then went for a few other guns. I had a Browning Grade 1, which was great. That's what I won the British schools with. I then bought myself the original Browning XS. And this is where my XS love came from. And this gun is one I still shoot today at Sporting. I keep wanting to change it to the Browning XS Pro. Every time I do that, I seem to go out and shoot well with it. It is just one gun that I will never ever get rid of. It seems to do the job. It does exactly what it says on the tin. So that's my Browning XS. 
This is my Maruku MK38 grade five trap gun, which I actually got for my 18th birthday. And this has actually had quite a lot of changes. It's got grade one barrels on it. The stock has all been played with. I've got lead up there because this was on the same level. I also had a Pratsy 2012 that I also shot with as well but I went back to this because I love this gun. This is what I won most of my double trap with. So this is my gun. It's 32 inch barrels, adjustable comb. I've lengthened it to 15 and a half inch stock, but it's a good all round and I will never ever sell it. This is one gun that I actually won at a competition and I've just kept it as a spare gun because actually these barrels are what is off of my grade five. Um, so I swapped the barrels around. So when Browning gave this to me, I actually asked them for a particular gun so I could rob some bits off of it. I then obviously, I don't use it all the time, but obviously Browning gave us, which you've seen on the channel, an XS Pro. So this is the XS Pro. I always go back to my old XS, just because I've got, not because I don't like this, but I've just got faith in that old XS. So the XS Pro is great. Maybe one day this will be put away and I'll go for an XS Pro straight away, but we'll find out. And then obviously the most recent gun to not just my collection, but the family's collection is number one of the Yield It's Pro Oxford Gun Company 40 year anniversary guns. Um, and we decided to keep the very first one that was built, which has got the non-adjustable comb, the upgraded wood, the upgraded engraving, and the upgraded case. So that is the guns that I own at the moment. Obviously I've got quite a lot of other guns that I have owned in the past and had in my collection. Some of them I sold, some of them I've kept. I did have a, Bre a Beretta. The only Beretta I've shot is the 682 Goldie. So I did have one of those in my collection for a bit, but I sold that just before COVID. I've pretty much gone through all the guns. The only one I haven't got here is my uh, Diana air rifle. Um, but this is my gun that I've managed to keep all my life. And I will probably never ever sell these guns. Uh, I will always keep them in this. I do also keep one other thing in my gun cabinet and it's this set of keys, which is, the keys to two very important things that I keep in my gun cabinet. If you subscribe to the channel and you join the channel for $2.99 a month, you will find out what this is for in one of our private videos. So that is my gun collection. Please like and subscribe. Please like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and please, please, please comment below on what you think of my collection and what you think I should add on to this and what you have got that I need to have or do you want one of these guns in your collection? I hope you enjoy this and we'll see you on the next one.